welcome to edition number four of our skater at home training. It can be for anybody, you don't have to be a skater, but these exercises are specifically helpful to skaters. Today's workout is going to be a little bit more about control and stability and a little bit less about uh, power and strength. Our last workout was quite difficult. This one's going to be just involving a bit more control. So it should be a little bit less tiring for you. But one thing you do need is a heavy object, something like a container of laundry soap, this is a little bit light, but it's the heaviest thing I could find. If you guys have something, I'd like you to go pause this video, go grab it and come back. And we're going to need this at one of our later exercises. Hopefully you guys are all finding creative ways to stay in shape. I just hit a kid's toy. So we're going to hear some music. Hopefully you guys are finding creative ways to stay in shape while you're out of a training venue. Uh, we're going to start with some planks. We're going to do heel twists while we're in a plank position on our forearms. We're going to come into a plank and we're just going to twist our heels from the right to the left. We're going to do 10 of those. Then we're going to do 10, staying in the same position, hand, hand, elbow, elbow. Then we're going to repeat 10 on each side, heel twist, 10 times, elbow to hand, hand to elbow. You guys ready to get going? That's going to be our first exercise. So let's get on our elbows. Make sure we have a nice straight line in our back. We don't want to be piped up here. We don't want to be scooped down. We want to be nice and straight. We're going to put our feet close together and we're just going to flop those heels to the right. Now we're going to move them to the left. And two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Two more on each side, guys. And let's meet back in the center and let's climb. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow. That's one. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow. Let's squeeze the bum while we're in this position. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Let's meet back on our elbows and let's start to the left this time just to switch things up with the heels left to right. Two, three, four. You should be feeling this in your core, in your hips, and in your legs. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, 10, 10 to the center. Let's start climbing up with our left arm. This arm, this time we use the right last time. Elbow, elbow, that's one. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow. Don't forget to squeeze your bum. I need that reminder as well. Four, five, six, seven, three more guys. And last one. Let's just put our knees down, do a little bit of a shell stretch. Maybe you felt that straining in your lower back as well as your core. That's normal. Just let that stretch out a little bit. Give yourself a wiggle. And we're going to come up to our next exercise. So if you guys have been following along, you remember in the first video, we did those hinge forward where we opened our hip and we closed our hip. We tried to do 10 in a row without losing balance. That was in video number one. If you haven't done that exercise, you're going to do it now, but we're going to combine it with a curtsy squat. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in our left leg and pick up that right leg. This is just an example. We're going to put the leg behind us, do our little curtsy squat, hands on hips. We're going to come up, leg in front, leg back, hips are closed. Open that right hip, close that right hip, back up. And then we're going to repeat and we're going to do that eight times on each foot. When you guys are doing the hinge, it doesn't matter how high your leg is. Your leg should actually be quite low because we're trying to keep that hip closed at the very beginning. And if our hip is closed, our leg won't be able to go very high. Then we're going to open and close. And again, this is about control. It's about stability in your standing leg and your standing foot. So let's start on the left side. Hands on hips, leg up, and let's go curtsy squat. Leg up, hinge, arms by the side, open, close and up. That's one. Let's go for eight. Up, 
hinge forward, open, close, and up. Hinge. Hinge. If you feel yourself losing balance, there's nothing wrong with slowing it down, stabilizing, make sure you're not gonna fall over, and then continuing. Three. Four. Five. Make sure when we do this open and close, it's your shoulders and your hips stacking. Coming back to the side and back up. Three more, guys. Six. Seven. Last one. Let's meet back up. Stabilize and put the foot down. You can do this in running shoes. You can do it barefoot. I'm giving myself a bit of a challenge. I'm doing it in my basement, which has carpet. So that's creating a little bit more instability. If you guys are on hardwood floor or with running shoes, it might be a little bit easier. So we're gonna switch over to the right side. Hands on the hip and let's go. Oopsie squat. Come up. Back. Sorry, arms are back. Open. Close. Up. Hands on the hips for the squat. Back. Open. Close. And that's two. Curtsy squat. Up. Hinge. Open. Close. Up. That's three. Curtsy squat. Hinge. Open. Close. And up. That's four. Let's do three more. Up, back, open, close. Starting to lose my balance a little bit. Up and two more. Curtsy squat. Last one, when we do that curtsy squat, we wanna go low, but we don't want our knee to touch the ground. It's just above and we come up. Guess we could have gone over that little tidbit at the beginning, not on the last one. Close, up, stabilize, and down. If you guys made it through all of that without losing your balance like I did, that was an amazing job. So let's move on to the next exercise with my trusty little list here. We're going to pick up our heavy object. We're going to hold our heavy object in front of us with our arms straight. This is just to add a little bit more things that we have to control and a little bit more strength to our exercise. We're gonna come up on our left leg. Right knee is gonna come up bent in front of us. We're gonna bend the right leg. We're gonna shift through the center, balance on the right leg, and we're gonna rise up. Then we're gonna bend the right leg. We're gonna shift our whole body through the center, right, left leg, sorry, and up. Okay, so we're gonna do that 10 times on each side. So we're just gonna be shifting back and forth. We want our heavy object to stay in front of us. We don't want to have it shaking. We don't want to move it. We want to stabilize this the best that we can. This is kind of an awkward shape to be holding. So if you guys are also holding a laundry detergent container, then it's a little bit trickier. So let's stand on our left leg. Right leg up. Arms are straight out in front of us. Bend, shift through center, up, and switch. Bend, shift through center, up, and switch. That's one. Now, as you guys shift through center, you want your bum nice and low, up. Bum is nice and low through the center, and up, that's two. Bum stays low, and rise up, nice and balanced. Low, and up, that's three. Low, and up. I know we're holding a heavy object, our arms are out in front of us. This is four guys, you can have your shoulders down. I need that reminder as well, we all probably do. It's halfway there, guys. Amazing. Six. Seven. 
Seven. Eight. Two more times on each side. Breathe through this. Breathe through it. Last one. Down foot, object into the chest, and down. That was amazing. A little bit of strength in our neck and our shoulders as well, depending on which object you chose to hold. Okay, we're gonna add another little core exercise. We're all gonna get down on our back. We're gonna put our arms over our head, and they are going to stay here. You can have the top of your hands on your mat. You can have your thumb on your mat. I don't really care about that. Legs are gonna come up, toes are pointed. We're going to let our legs drop lower and lower and lower. We want to come just to a hover above the ground. We're going to flex and we're slowly going to bring them back up. We're going to point and we're going to repeat and we're going to do that 12 times. We want to keep our legs nice and straight, extended. When toes are pointed, they're nicely pointed. When they're flexed, our heels are pushing towards the ceiling. That's two very different positions. Let's go, toes are pointed first. Straight legs, just to a hover above the ground. Let's flex and come up. One. Two, let's inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. That's three. So that was six, we're halfway there. I need the reminder as well, keep your legs stretched. Stretch behind your knee. And this is a very slow motion, that was seven guys. Number eight, look how slow we're going down. There's no rush, this is about control. We flex and we slowly climb back up. This is eight. I think I lost count, but we are going to do three more. Let's do two more. Point, stretch, 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 stretch. Flex and up, 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 up. And again, point slowly down. Legs are extended. Flex and slowly up. And because I lost count, let's do one last bonus one just in case. It's always better to do more than less in these sets. Flex and up. Point. Let's bring our arms around your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Shake it out a little bit. And we're going to come into our next exercise. Our next exercise is going to be very simple. One leg squat. It's gonna start out very simple. Okay, we're gonna start in the right leg. We're gonna do a one leg squat. We're gonna come back up through the middle then we're going to take our body to two different balance points. Our leg is going to go out to one side, our upper body and our arms are going to go out to the next side. Then you're going to come to the center and we're going to go into another squat again. Okay, I don't even know if it's possible. We are going to try to do six on each side. Okay, so this is very challenging. It's all about balance, coordination, stability. If you fall over or lose your balance, just jump right back into it. And next time you try this video, maybe you can try to stay stable for an extra set than you did the first time. Okay, so we're gonna start in our right leg. Do a little bit of a squat. You can have your arms out in front of you, on your hips, at the side. I'm gonna keep mine at the side. Little squat. Up, let's pass through center, and let's shift over to the side. One. Again, very slow movements. Two. Okay, awesome job, guys. Three. Four. This is five. 
we come out to the side, let's stretch that leg and those arms. Last one on this side. And stretch. Center and down. Well, that was challenging for me. I'm sure it was challenging for you guys. I like to watch other athletes and skaters do their warm-ups and their cool downs. And this one exercise, taking ourselves off balance, I've stolen it from Andrew Poge and whatever trainer has taught it to him. I love it. I started incorporating it into my own off-ice training program and my pre-skating warm-up. Um, after years ago, I saw Andrew doing it. And, uh, you know, I've improved a lot with it over the years, but uh, it's definitely not where I want it to be yet. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to go on our left leg. We're going to do a little bit of a squat. Arms wherever you want, wherever you feel good with those arms. Now we're going to come out to the side. Right leg to the side, upper body to the left. That's one. Breathe through this nice and slow movement. That's two. You may notice that if your landing leg is your right leg and that's your more stable side and you're on your left right now, like me, it's a little bit more difficult. This is number four. Two more, nice and slow. Five. Last one guys, you're doing awesome. Center and down. That was amazing. We have two more core exercises left. So we're going to come back on the mat and we're going to come on our back. We're going to do a little core for our obliques. You guys probably all know this exercise, very standard core exercise. We're going to have our arms behind our head, knees up, and we're going to go opposite elbow to opposite knee. So right elbow, left knee, and we're going to stretch out the right leg and then come back to the center and go to the other side. So we're going to bicycle. We're going to do a total of 30. So we're going to do 15 on each side. Okay, are we ready? Let's keep our hands locked behind our head and let's go right elbow to left knee, stretch out that right leg. One, center, two, center, three, center, four, center, five, <sighs> 10. Twenty. Thirty and down. That was amazing, guys. We have one more core exercise. Again, we're going to do thirty crunches. Arms are going to be in the exact same position. Knees are up. Knees are together, sorry. Feet are down. As we crunch, we're going to lift our upper body and our knees, and we're gonna come down. We're gonna crunch up into a little ball and down, and we're going to do that 30 times. Are you ready? Let's go, this is it. This is the last exercise. We can point our toes, so when our feet come down, it's just our toes. And let's come up. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Okay, ten left, guys. Stay strong. Two more. Let's come down. That was amazing. Well, over here, let's just windshield wiper our legs side to side, okay? Feet about mat distance apart, and we're just going to shift side to side to side. Awesome, we're gonna come back. We're just gonna do a quick little stretch for our core. Let's come on our stomachs, hands around your chest, and let's just give ourselves 
a little bit of a stretch up here with our stomach. Maybe you can shift side to side, side to side. Let's come back to the center. Let's slowly roll ourselves down, snake ourselves down, come into a little bit of a shell stretch, come up. And that is your workout for this evening. Have fun. If that's not enough for you, go back to the beginning and do it again, or maybe go back to one of the other videos that I posted on this YouTube channel, and you can combine a couple of them to make a full, full workout session. If this wasn't enough for you, have a great night. Thank you.